Hi there, my name is Tishan. I'm better known as Chesh. I'm a professional fighter and a coach. I'm the founder, managing director and head trainer at Combat by Chesh. Um, we train clients on a one-on-one -on -one basis. We train people only on an appointment basis as well. Our operational hours are from 3.30 in the morning till 11.30 in the night. I train people on uh, weight loss, uh, sports, MMA and boxing. I train people on um, CrossFit and uh, fitness and toning. And we have a kids program as well that we run for kids over three years old with partnership with uh, Tiny Hop. As for personal achievements, uh, I'd say I've been fighting for over a decade right now and uh, three state uh, national championships I uh, won and uh, 53 international titles which is currently the record for a Sri Lankan citizen fighting in an international martial arts field. I started training back in 2003 in Trinity College Candy under Master Iqbal and Master Vasanta. I started as a kickboxer and uh, in 2004 I went for my first competition. I had no idea what my, I got myself into but uh, I ended up winning two national championships that day and from that day on till today it's been close to 17 years and I still train and I still fight up to date. I started out as a kickboxer and then I went into boxing training as well. I travelled abroad to Melbourne, Australia and I was there for nine years and this is where I started training in Jeet Kune Do, a style known better as JKD, the art of Bruce Lee. And uh, I came back to Sri Lanka and then I started training in MMA with the help of uh, Dan from Glory MMA, uh, Andrew from Brawl, um, Pragit from Shed and then uh, Madhura from CFC. As a professional fighter, I'm very considerate about my food, given that you have to be in top shape at any given point. Um, yes, I do have my cheat days when I do indulge myself in sugars and sweets and stuff, but I make sure I come back into the gym and I burn it off. But I try to be very considerate when it comes to my food. I wish I had a workout buddy, but unfortunately given my time schedules and uh, hectic routine, I don't have one. Having a workout body actually helps uh, you to be motivated, they will push you and they will encourage you as well, but unfortunately I don't have a workout body. Out of the seven days, I work out six days a week, twice a day. Uh, I take my Sundays off. Um, I train in my morning training, I start at 4.30 a.m. That's where I do my weight, uh, weight training. Then I do my MMA training, which I start at nine o'clock in the night. Uh, it was a story in the Bible actually, uh, there's a person called Samson. As from the time I was a little kid, I was inspired by this guy. Uh, he was a warrior and a great fighter and so I always wanted to grow up and be like him. So that's what pretty much inspired me to get into this sport. It's to see how people's lives are transformed. To be honest, um, I see them walking through those doors and then uh, when they walk out of those doors, I see them going out a different person. Uh, they're full of self-confidence, um, they're full of pride, their sense of achievement. They have more energy throughout the day and then when they go back into society, people see that and uh, they influence and motivate others around them as well. To be honest, so changing one life at a time, so aiming at national transformation. Um, compared to international countries, uh, the workout culture here is actually pretty much up to standard and up to par with their international levels. Given the extensive use of uh, social media such as Instagram, Facebook and YouTube, we see a lot of uh, fitness centers and gyms and uh, even clients following latest trends set out by uh, influencers, fitness gurus and celebrity fitness people. So we are pretty much up to date with what's happening and then um, we have a very good workout culture compared to what it was back five years ago. Well, there's plenty of mistakes because that I see these things uh, every day. First thing I'd say is the uh, use of mobile phones pretty much. I think uh, the amount of time people waste on their mobile phones when they come for a workout, uh, that's just shocking. And then uh, the use of uh, not using uh, sweat towels when they work out. So when they use the equipments or the mats, 
they don't wipe off their sweat after using them. Um, the other one I'd say is uh, not putting back the weights or re-racking the weights after using it. It all comes down to discipline. Uh, last but not least, uh, having realistic goals. Um, so you'd sometimes get people saying, uh, look, I have a wedding, I have a party in 10 days, I want to lose 10 kilos, which it doesn't work that way, uh, unfortunately. But uh, like I said, having realistic goals, people don't think a lot when they talk about it. It's a very delicate balance, if you ask me, it's pretty much uh, a lot of people think because I own and run the place, I have enough time to work out and everything, but uh, that's far from the truth. Um, me and my wife, we try to balance our work around our baby, pretty much. So she owns the salon, so we work our appointments according to the way that one person is always at home trying to look after the baby while the other one is working. Uh, if you are looking for motivation, I'd say um, never doubt yourself. Uh, never give up on your goals. You got one life to live, you have one body. Look after it, take care of it, live your life to the fullest. And uh, don't give excuses when it comes to working out and everything. You know, you say you can't do this, I can't do that. If I'm to quote a uh, scripture verse, I'd say Philippians 4.13 says, um, I can do all things through Christ who sentenced me. This is one of the verses that got me through a lot of things in life. So I'd say, just don't say it's impossible, I can't do it. Just make the impossible into I am possible. And uh, just have realistic goals. Keep working at it, keep working hard. And uh, you will once, you see your results, you see that you have gotten the way you want to be at. So be patient with your results, it won't come overnight. Be patient, keep working hard at it. And uh, by seeing the results, you'll not only be a good uh, example, but you'll be able to motivate, inspire, and be an example to others around you as well. Okay, so we are at my place, our workout studio. So we're going to start off with our warm up. We have two sets of warm up. So the first one is going to be with the machines. So we will start off with the machines. So what we're going to do is uh, it's an endurance based workout. Uh, we'll be doing three machines, 10 minutes each per machine with a one minute break. This focuses on your endurance, your cardio, the leg strength for your kicks and your punches as well, it gives your punching power on your punches as well. So we're going to start off with our first machine. It's a machine like a cross trainer and elliptical trainer. This focuses on our legs and it will improve our strength in our hands and your punching power as well. So let's start off with this. We just completed 10 minutes on the machine. And uh, now we're going on to our second machine, which is our Cybex Arc Trainer. This focuses on our lower body strength and uh, for your kicks as well. This is one of the machines that improves a lot on your kick endurance. All right, so let's start off. Right, we just completed 10 minutes on the machine as well. We are going on to our third machine now. Right. So this one focuses on, again, your punches and your strength in your quads. Uh, this helps in, again, your kicks and taking blows to your legs. It strengthens up your quad muscles as well. So we start off with this one. Just completed 10 minutes on that as well. Gets your heart rate up like mad. So that completes our first set of our warm-up. And we are gonna go to our second set warm-up, which is our body weight training and high intensity training. Right guys, so we're gonna start off our second set of our warm-up. So we're gonna start with the skipping rope. 
This set of warm up uh, focuses more on your agility, your endurance again, and this will push your cardio to your limit because it's just all going to be high intensity training. All right, so we're going to start off with the five minutes on, just keeping. intensity session and then uh, we start off with that so let's go. all right now we're going to go into our body weight training this is a high intensity training segment uh, we're going to focus on again our agility and our footwork and uh, this is a compromise of about seven to eight exercises so we'll get started off in it all right Now we are going to go into our stretching routine. This is a routine derived from a uh, few from yoga and a few from contemporary dancing as well. And uh, this is one of the routines that will stretch every single muscle in your body. So uh, let's start with this. Right, so we just completed our stretching routine and now we're gonna wrap our hands and uh, go into our shadow sparring session. Right, so we're done with our stretches and the next one we're gonna do is our shadow sparring. So we got our hands wrapped up and uh, this improves on your ring presence on uh, your actual fighting. So we're gonna start off with that. Right. We just completed our kicks drill as well and now we're going to go into the bag. Right, we're going to start off with a few combinations on the bag. This is a heavy bag right here. So we're going to start off with our punches to start with. We just completed the punches. The reason why we do these punches is uh, this can be used for attack or defense as well in a fight combat situation or in self defense as well. So these are combinations that you can use in a real life situation. Right. We can move into our kicks next. Right. Just completed our kick routine as well. And now we're gonna go into a few power drills after this. All right guys, so we're gonna move on to our power training section, which is our upper body training for our punches. So we'll be doing push-ups. So each push-up uh, will be 20 push-ups per rep. Uh, we have about six different types of push-ups that we'll be doing. A standard knuckle, inverted knuckle, inverse finger push-ups, and then uh, plank to push-up. So we're gonna start with the mask as well, so it's gonna increase your difficulty in breathing so it's going to test our lungs as well so to make it much harder to do 
So it's called a training mask. Use it for elevation training with uh, professional fighters. All right, so let's get started. Right guys, so we're going to start off with our ropes. We are just finishing up our routine right now. This is for mainly for your punches and for your hand speed. It increases your endurance on your hand, so let's get started with it. So we do one minute into three sets of this one. We're going to start off next with a small weapons demonstration. These are called nunchucks. We're going to do a small drill to show you a demonstration on these weapons. Right, guys, we just completed our workout and uh, gonna go head back home. Best part about the workout now is when you get to have your meals. So let's get to it. Alright guys, uh, it's time for our food, so let's get started. So this was ordered from uh, Sugar Mummies. Uh, they do dis dishes and uh, food takeaways for fitness items and everything, so they're very good with their food. So we have today uh, liver and salad, and we have a liver paste as well. It's full of proteins and it's really good for your workout. So as you can see, it's uh, made with minimum amount of oil, a lot of chilies. I like it very spicy when it comes to food and it's just got the balance of greens and vegetables inside as well. Provides the protein factor that you need after a workout. And uh, as far as juice, we have uh, narang and orange juice here. So it's a very refreshing juice to have just after a workout. So let's get started with our food. Um, Chicken liver, it's a very good source of uh, protein, as I mentioned before. Uh, it's one of the cheapest alternatives when it comes to meat, uh, than chicken breast or if you're buying beef liver or salmon or anything. It's got a very high content of protein, as I mentioned before, and uh, for those who do not like liver, some do not like the texture of it or the taste of it, or when it comes to uh, vegetarians or vegans. You can always try uh, uh, chickpeas, it's a very good alternative when it comes to eating protein of the food. And uh, soy meat, uh, textured vegetable protein is what it's called. That also has a high content of uh, protein as well. So these are essential when you're finishing the workout to uh, have a good source of protein because your muscle fibers break down. Let's have a food and uh, liquids. All right, so we'll try in the sauce as well. Uh, it's a uh, texture of uh, liver and it's got uh, a lot of proteins in this as well. So it's rather than having tomato sauce or anything else, it's always best to have something that will add for your protein content as well. So we'll try that and see. It's a very good
A very natural and raw source of protein, uh, having chicken liver or anything when it comes to meat. A lot of people uh, tend to take supplements as well. I mean, there's two sides to it, but to be honest, uh, there's nothing wrong with it as well. Uh, it helps providing the essential proteins for your body as well. But uh, I prefer going with uh, natural sources like meats, dairy, and cheeses and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, they're both good in high sources of protein. And if you can, there's a cheaper alternative than uh, getting supplements if you want to. But provides the same amount of proteins as well. So. I'm done with my food for the day. So that completes my uh, full routine with the warm up, stretching, the workout, and the post workout meal and the juices. All right, guys, so just finished our meal. And uh, I'd especially like to thank uh, Hi TV, uh, my Fit Life show, for having me on the program and for featuring Combat by Jesh. Really appreciate it and uh, hope, you, hope to see you guys also in here when you want to come for workout. Remember, it's all by appointments and uh, we're operating from 3 30 in the morning till 11 30 in the night. Once again, to all the fans, love your support. Love being there for you guys and uh, hope to see you soon and uh, hope you enjoyed the show.